Have you ever thought about building a PC with concrete? Well, Burned of BJPC did just that, and we're going to see how now. Featuring a machine known only as Ice Machine, made with concrete. Let's go into the details. Burned had all the components he needed to create a very top end system, including an Intel i7 6700K with 32GB G Skilled Trident Z DDR4 RAM, a Samsung 950 M2 500GB SSD, a Sapphire VaporX R9 290X 8GB GPU, all to sit on top of an ASUS Z170 Deluxe board, powered by a Cooler Master 850 PSU and a whole plethora of alpha cool liquid cooling components. The only thing that was missing was the case. So he took to designing his own case and wanted it to be unique and very special. So rather than taking a conventional approach of adapting or modding an existing case, he set about to build one from the bottom, a scratch build. Using steel rebar bent and welded into the shape he was hoping to achieve, then filling it with foam, he set to work on the build. He then designed a steel skeleton to retain the upright shape and keep the strength at a maximum. Once he had the skeleton and steel and foam mould made, he started filling in the concrete parts and after leaving it to set, he removed the foam from inside. Once the base had been built, Byrne focused his attention on the upper part of the build, and as you can see here, he made this out of steel with runners on top to allow the whole system to slide out to the right to allow access. The outer box is made from real wood panels to create a modern contemporary housing for the build that complements the concrete base perfectly. An acrylic panel is cut to size and placed on top of a case with the words AlphaCool who provided all the water cooling components and also the name of the build itself, Ice Machine. Bind then created the large acrylic box that is shaped to fit exactly the dimensions of the arm to the case itself and this houses a very unique waterfall feature. Now that the build is complete, work started on getting the components installed and getting the project completed. In the top of course was the motherboard mounted slightly to the bottom left of the unit and the compact PSU above the top. Of course with the build having components provided by AlphaCool by the bucket load, Byrne wanted to really make it stand out from the rest. With the standard cooling loop made for the board itself including a pump next to the PSU, providing circulation for the CPU and GPU block, the tubing then continues down through the stand. He achieves this by transforming the large waterfall into a reservoir, which creates the stunning effect of the water running down through it with the light panels underneath illuminating this. This then leads out to multiple loops inside the concrete base which further cool the fan controllers and back up to the main system. The entire water cooling setup is visually stunning and is unlike no other. The spaces in the base allow for excellent viewing of the internals and the added lighting throughout the whole build makes everything shine. The right side of the base houses a small monitor that can show anything Burn displays, giving the stand its own form of life. The end result, as you can see, is absolutely incredible and insanely detailed. Burn had a plan and executed it perfectly and created what no one else has been able to do before, and made a computer from industrial materials that looks modern and contemporary and smart enough to fit in any showroom. By opting to shy away from the ordinary, he achieved what many may consider natural beauty. Rather than using the traditional materials such as sheet metal or plastics that have been painted or manufactured to look like wood or concrete or steel, he has built the machine out of the real materials. This is Byrne's first scratch build and his third most relevant mod. He has designed it to be in four parts so that when it comes to transportation it can be moved with ease, which is perfect for such a large heavy build. He managed to make the whole concrete structure fall in an astonishing 3.5cm thick, which is by no means an easy task to do. If you want to check out the photos for yourself in more detail, head over to his page which is in the description below. And if you're heading over to Vegas for CES, you will most likely see the ice machine for yourself there. Well that just about wraps it up for me. This has been the Outrageously Stunning Ice Machine by Bernd of BJPC.